All righty. Hello there, everybody. We're live here with some of the ladies, Jane Sharp, Sharon Sunshine, Linda K. Listening. We're having a little chat today, just talking about stuff. Uh, we have a few things that we, we plan to talk about. We may, we may get a little free form with it and take some questions or do whatever here. So we'll see. But um, we're going to just be talking about, you know, Stephen and Brendan today and wrongful convictions and, um, you know, Ways of getting attention, which I think is what we'll be ending up with when we're talking about Linda at the end. But, you know, hi, guys. First of all, huh? it's good to have you. Hi. Here. Good evening. Nice to be here. <laughs> Great to be here. Nice Thank you. Us. Everybody out there in the chat, feel free to, to, to you know. Give us a wave. Look at the, the banner there. Oh, down at the bottom and, 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 you know, do your thing, of course. So, no. Oh, I didn't so, read the first part. I like it. Yeah, if so, you're outraged at mm -hmm. what Brendan has or what Brendan has endured, yeah. comment. <laughs> comment. In I the chat. Ha hashtag I stand with Brendan Dassey or positively ha or hashtag positively Brendan in the live chat. Yep, there you go, folks. <laughs> and it's like I like Jinx, Dark Side of the Moon, Supper Cup, nothing but a stump, nothing but a stump, <laughs> nothing but a stump. <laughs> <laughs> Just talking about you. There we go. Thank oh, you, there we go. Mario Maker Two Glitch Hunters. I love it. I love it. I stand with Brendan Dassey. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we're gonna be talking about Brendan a bit today and stuff like that. So, um, you know, mainly, you know, we're, you know, I mean, I, I've been thinking about, you know, recently, like the transformation. And here I am speaking with you guys. It's funny because Sharon and Jane are obviously just getting started. Uh, getting their own YouTube channels up and kind of coming into their own, getting comfortable on camera, um, particularly Jane, you folks, checking her out on TikTok recently. <laughs> TikTok, uh, anyway. Jane, TikTok. <laughs> so, I'm going to fall off for TikTok. It was some of the raindrops, Jane. It was some of the raindrops. <laughs> that was hard. It was really hard. <laughs> And if, you know, if anyone's got kids who have got TikTok or is on TikTok themselves, they will know some of these things. They might look easy, but they're really hard. And, right. and all are they my, challenges? Yeah, they, well, it, yeah. They, it's okay. like a hashtag. They do like a, the same one. It's like a hashtag. Okay, because I don't know how it works. Yeah, so yeah. This, that one was hashtag raindrop challenge. But there's so many different ch challenges. There's yeah. the, um, the hand gesture emoji one and... The certain ones of them, I just I can't do for love and the money. You do all the it's like everybody does the same thing. The look, yeah. a whole lot of people, maybe like yeah. thousands of folk will do the one type of dance, the yeah. same song, and it's like to see who's better in the hashtag and all that. Is that right? Jane? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, I'd love to paraphrase it for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah lip syncing as well. Yeah, right. and reactions to the other ones as well. There's other, yeah, yeah. So when, when when Paul finally gets me my instrumental for Come With Me Now and I get my parody, I might have to I might have to take one verse and I might have to start a TikTok account. Yeah, do it. Well we we Scottish Lass has got a TikTok. She does a TikTok. I just did it. I she was trying one to oh, I, I think that may be <laughs> I, that may be part of why the honeymoon is over between me and her because she was talking so much about TikTok and I was like, I can't do it. I can't do another app. You know, I was. You know, just want to see you dancing in the studio <laughs> with your flies <laughs> Oh, anyways. <laughs> well, you were really good on the the truth train one. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, that was, was a lot. Fun. Fun. I, you know, with Stacy. Actually, that's a good idea. Go on TikTok and do your singing oh, for Brendan. Yeah. Anyway, Steve. I have an entire parody worked up for "Come With Me mm -hmm. Now" by the Congos. I've already, I mean, all the lyrics. I've already made a version of it, but. It's not, I couldn't get it. I didn't have a version without the lyrics from them. I did, I needed the music alone so that I could put my alternate lyrics over it. I am waiting for Paul, he's working on it. I am waiting for him to get me the finished version of that so that I can then make it. And then when I do, I'll take probably the first verse because TikTok's typically what 30 seconds, 45 seconds, you yeah. know, videos, right? I, Very yeah, short, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so I'd have to take like a verse and then I could probably upload it with a little bit of video or something. Um, I think you can do anything from between like 15 seconds to about 60 seconds. Yeah. So, you right. but then, but then there's a mandatory tutu wearing. You have to wear a tutu, don't you, Jane, for any oh. songs that you want? Yeah. <laughs> and leg warmers. It's very important. You know, you can't go on unless 
<laughs> well, he's got a what is that? You know that Scotland dress there. You know what is that thing called? A kilt. A kilt. You yeah. Can wear that. That's a man's tutu. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Paul, if Paul if Paul sends me a sporin, I'll be wearing mine again. So well, isn't it funny that Paul doesn't have one? He says he doesn't have one. I, I mean, any Scottish? I mean, well, an American has one. And <laughs> my husband too. What can I say? You like, too. You know, I'll tell you, I got to get out of this place, man. I'm gonna be starting to wear one. Yeah. <laughs> did you? Did you husband, oh gosh, sorry. sorry go I was just gonna say, did your husband wear a kilt when you got married, Sharon? No, he didn't actually wear a kilt when we got married. Mm. Um, but he's worn it loads of times since then. Yeah. Um, Which is yeah, uncommon no, for a Glasgow wedding because there's always some shirtless guy. Yeah. Kilt, right? Yeah, you, usually. <laughs> yeah. But we, <laughs> he didn't have a kilt at the time when we got married because it was so long ago. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. as I was saying, 24 years. 24 <laughs> years we've been married. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Not, in July it'll be so but no, we didn't have a kilt then. Didn't have yep. one. I like Neil. Neil's a good guy, so yeah. great. Check out his his web or his two YouTube. YouTube. He's got beautiful his photographs. Oh, I know his. My granddaughter did, loves them. She did goes, you see oh, did you look at the good castle? Yeah. Good. <laughs> good so to, so it. the reason why I was bringing up the fact that Sharon and, and Jane obviously are, are some of the latest, you know, n you know, newcomers to getting out there on YouTube and getting out there on Twitter, wherever, wherever, and but namely getting their face out there even on YouTube has been the biggest hurdle for everybody. I mean, three years ago, Paul will go on and on and on about it. It's, you know, interesting that you brought up the kilt right now because I originally <laughs> three years ago made a video where I was wearing a kilt and I yeah. was challenging people to get on you know, so or something? make a video and, and tell me their story of how they got into you know Stephen and Brennan and, and their case and what you know or their story of you know watching making a murder or whatever and so I made that kind of plea back then it had limited success at first mm -hmm. I immediately got you know Paul and Mark Hodnot and um, Marilyn Shu Carter over on Facebook. She put up several videos uh, after I made that video. So it was awesome. I love Marilyn. Um, and so, and there was somebody else whose name is escaping me. I'm so sorry. There was another, there was another one too, whose name is escaping me who, who put up one video as well. Um, but I loved it. It was great. And, and then it kind of was just, it, it was, there wasn't much happening for a while, obviously. This was prior to MAM2 because, like I said, I made this thing three years ago. So then MAM2 comes out. Then we start getting more people. The rubber duckies pop up. Millbilly starts becoming more uh, pronounced, and 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 people are following him, and 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 he's got good stuff. And so more people started to discover some of these people that were kind of coming up and on the fringe. Then more people started, like Linda. Obviously, mm -hmm. Linda's been been doing this now for uh, you know longer, obviously, than, yeah. than you know, yeah. than Sharon and, and yeah. Jane. So she's but she's another one who picked up that ball and ran with it, and mm -hmm. and so there's more and more people, and there's, that's what's helping Stephen and Brennan the most, folks. The fact that the movement continues to grow, it's it's I'm very happy to see it, and I'll tell you, here's another thing, just another little observation that I thought I was really touched by was when I was watching Jerome and I was watching Stacy on Jerome's segment yeah. and, and Stacy started talking about the community and started talking about uh, me sending him over the clips of people singing truth train uh, for that video I was putting together and, and seeing mm -hmm. him and, and him talking about just, you know, the, you know, it, it was just, I was very touched yeah. by a lot of the things he was saying. Yeah. And, and, and it's, the, yeah. it's, those are the things that allow us to keep growing and allow our voice for Steve and Brendan to continue mm -hmm. to rise in volume to these people who don't want to hear it. And, and, and the classier we are, the more we're heard. I know, I know it's hard. And, I, and, and it's particularly with everybody being frustrated with the state stalling right now, it's hard to be classy. It's hard to keep your temper, but you got to, you got to yeah. stay classy because if you act like a jerk, you hurt Steven and Brendan. You yeah. give Correct. something, you give you give the people out there that want to silence the critics of Manitowoc and Calumet in Wisconsin, you give them something to point at and go, look at how unreasonable these people are. 
Yeah. And you don't want to give them that kind of stuff to point to, folks. That's why it's important to be classy. And I'll oh, say this yeah. again, and I've said it probably 100 times in the last two weeks, uh, probably 50 times during Mammothon alone. But the way you get these people, folks, you don't have to think of something nasty. You don't have to think of some threat. You don't have to think of anything like that. You don't have to shout. You don't have to scream. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is go in, find some fact that's unexplainable yeah. in the case tied to that person, and ask them a in a very classy way, a question regarding that fact and watch them squirm. Instead because of killing with kindness, that's all the with What do you need? Yep. <laughs> is watch them squirm or not yeah. answer to Or, yeah. you know. I don't see them very often. They're disappearing yeah. or something. I don't know. And if they are around, I pay no attention. And the more so. and more they disappear, the more and more I know you guys out there are all doing it right. Because yep. now they can't Now they can't say, oh, Avery Dowsey supporters are assholes. Mm -hmm. They can't just say that. Because people are starting to get smarter about the way they support. That's good. That's that's a very good thing. Yeah. So all right. Or see what a cult. <laughs> well, <laughs> Still do that. It may be. And I don't know. I'd, I'd rather say it's not. I mean, I it's think not. a lot of people discovered no. it making a murderer and Stephen and Brent Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey on their own. And then just kind of migrated to the community afterward because they were looking for an more. You know, <laughs> well, the fact that we've all got our own channel shows we've got our own thoughts, so that shows we're not a cult. There's you know? different points of view, and not yeah. everybody agrees. Yeah. And I personally, I personally accept that diversity myself. I don't personally yeah. hold it against people when they have an opinion that I don't favor. Yeah. Um, excuse, excuse me. I have some Kool Aid. I mean, yeah. <laughs> cooler. That's what it looks like. It looks like cat no, it's a Kool Aid, you know, because of the cult. Yeah, the drinking the Kool Aid guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how it's in. Oh, <laughs> Aunt, Aunt Cozy, uh, Pink, Pink sent you something, um, a link or something in Discord or something, and yeah, she can't Pink, post it. I saw, I I saw her. Okay. I saw her message, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and uh, hey. Check it right now, is that what she means? I think so. Nothing but a stump is thinking about doing a podcast. Oh, yeah. Wow. You should, you should. Yeah. You should get your own. You just do YouTube. Get videos. No mind the podcast. Yeah, you don't want to do that, and yeah. you know that's cool. Sorry, Martha. I know you got double state things going on. You know this state, and then that. Yeah, you know. I think a lot of people use that anchor um, <laughs> app for podcasts. Oh, it's it streams free. right on to. Yep, and it's stream, oh. you can stream it right on to. Um, I see what you uh -oh. said. Spotify. Um, I thank you. Jinx, I will certainly hold on to that if I get tired of waiting for Paul to come through. But I do, I, I do actually want to see if Paul's going to come through on it because I'd rather have him playing the accordion uh, if I if if I had my choice. So, but no, thank you for that. That's interesting. That's brilliant. Um, I'm also hoping that by having Paul make it, it's going to make it easier to avoid them trying to clap copyright copyright issues. Even though I can, I'm going to easily be able to challenge it and say it's a parody. I'll be able to surprise. I'll be able to cite Supreme Court, uh, you know, case law that that says parodies are you know exempt from copyright, um, you know. But it'll be probably a two or three month fight where by the time I win, everybody will be over it and moved on to another thing. So, but anyways, that's the way it goes. Nothing but a stump was asking what I'd said. What was it for the podcast thing? It's anchor. Anchor. Yeah. 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 Anchor. I can message you later and tell you if you. Didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. It's just on the, on the Google them. Play Store or them. whatever, the app stores, <laughs> sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, don't come to me if you need a name. You'll get something funny like sharper <laughs> than a pencil, one strand in a rav, or nothing but a stump. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I came up with my name all by myself. <laughs> but you know what? You are sunshine. You know, you smile. It's just like, yeah. oh, thanks. You are the oh, sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Eric Cozy, I like your story of your name. Yours is from a character um, in a in a book, and I thought that was yeah. really interesting. Even more Michael, interesting is that my daughter yeah. knew who Eric Cozy was, and the book yeah. and everything else. So I was like, "Wow!" Because I don't yeah. read. So well, it's not just a book. It's Michael Moorcock. It's really yeah. a series of books of yeah, a whole bunch of books he's written where right they happen in what he calls the multiverse and. So you have a bunch of these travelers that travel between the realms and 
and and it's just it's interesting. But yeah, things tie together. You 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 have Eric Jose is uh, what what you call it one one incarnation of the of the champion eternal. You also have Elric. Uh, you have Corum, and then you also have Hawkmoon, and those are the four main incarnations of the champion eternal. Now the the thing the reason why I like Eric Jose so much and it's the reason why I chose is Eric Jose is unique. From the other champions, the other champions are are basically, you know, stuck in their own little worlds. Where Eric Jose is a unique version where he gets plucked. The universe literally plucks him from one place and drops him in another where he's needed. Mm -hmm. And so he's constantly being, you know, plucked out of where he is to be plucked down where he's needed. And he he spends a lot of time resentful of it, which is funny, but he always ends up you know, doing what he has to do. Is that a bit like you? He is who he is in the end and he can't help it. <laughs> is, it is that a bit like you? You get stuck into the Scott Davis and, you know, you then you get plucked into Stephen and Brenton and, and, you know, you're different. Something like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, get, yeah. Yeah. But you're not resentful of it. You're not resentful of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, you know, and he doesn't, you know, the thing is, Eric Cote doesn't either. I mean, in the stories, he eventually yeah. comes around. He, he, he just... He always spends the first, you know, he always spends the first little while in the story grumbling. He's mad mm -hmm. at the multiverse because he's tired of being. Now, who around. does that sound and like? He, grumbling. You know, just, <laughs> yeah. Like you're being <laughs> out. How many times? How many times do you hear Paul say it, man? I'm the. What, what's the word he uses? <laughs> well, there's a, quite a few, uh, but I mean, I don't know how many nah, of them I'm to say. <laughs> What is he here? He's gonna probably say it. Captain Crunch. Quantum Leap. Oh, I loved that show. What was he calling? You? What were they calling? Oh, uh, I loved Quantum Leap too. That was a good one. That was a yeah. good show. Adrian. Hey. How's it going? Hey, hello, Adrian. Long time. So. Yeah, Quantum Leap was a good show. I did love that one. Um, no. Oh, he's the, not tailing he, us. Gosh darn it! What's that word he used? He would always say I was. <laughs> Ah, oh well, whatever. It's a Scottish word. It'll come here. Yeah. So, but in the fly I'm sitting there, here not. thinking now. I'm going. What can you call him? What can you call him? So, basically, he says I'm grumpy. <laughs> There's too many words. Oh, I was walking around Australia the whole time, grumpy. Which, <laughs> which, which goes against what all the pictures say, because all the pictures yeah, are really. smiling. But yeah. you know, I don't know. Hey. And what you said when you got back. I mean, why I call him the Mad you, Scott. But anyway, Richard, you know, feeling Richard, you had a great time up there. Oh, said, dude. So. I mean, it, oh, yeah, certainly better, but much, much richer for the having gone there and experienced yeah. Yeah. the yeah. whole thing. It was, yeah, brilliant. Was even, though, the I even though so the 15 hour plane ride. Yeah. Mumping. Not Mumping. my favorite part. But, uh, yeah. Even in coming said, back earlier. Mumping, Mumping. Yeah. So now that was fun because it's true. I did leave Australia on uh, at about 11:30 a.m. on a Monday. Oh, you went back in time. And and so and then <laughs> by the, but when I was arriving in LA, I was arriving at 6:20 a.m. on Monday. So I was literally I literally jumped back like time traveler four hours. Yeah. So that's because the international dateline, but you know. <laughs> it was 24 hours for me when I went. It was what? 24 hours. To fly like, there? Yeah. I yeah, couldn't be on, I don't know. Yeah. God, 24 hours on a plane. I don't long. know if I would be able to do that. <laughs> I was going nuts. Yeah. I was going nuts on the on that 15-hour flight. I mean, yeah. there and back. I was like, seriously, like, extremely had to, like, extreme willpower to not just grab my bag and go sprinting before anybody else could get up. Like I wanted to get off that damn thing. I don't like being in enclosed spaces and I don't like sitting still for very long periods of time. <laughs> it's just not my thing, not my forte. So, yeah. oh God, after 15 hours, yeah, I was hurt. So it's a long time. once I was there, it was brilliant. Oh yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, maybe someday I'll get to go to England because I'm going to go visit Jane. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, I, <laughs> I do hope so. I'm oh. trying to get over to the UK as well. I know. I want you. I want you all to. I want everyone to come. I know. Oh. It seems weird. Like sometimes I'm like, oh man, I'll just come on over. Well, how far away is it to drive? You know. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, you can't do that, Linda. <laughs> no. <laughs> over to Wisconsin, but, then, but you know, it would take me like five days to get to Arcozy and you guys. Well, I'd have to swim and all yeah. that other stuff. And I'm not <laughs> sure. Twenty us. years ago, I'd probably attempt that, but <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> right, right. <laughs> it's not that much money to fly. It's just that you got to have a lot of money. It's not, to, no, it's you, actually, you know? it's not bad. It's not. I mean, the, my trips to Wisconsin actually cost more. They haven't, well, no, but they haven't been as crippling as I kind of initially thought they might be before I yeah. ever went. Like, I figured I was, I, I mean, I was like, I figured I was going to be, you know, shelling out over a thousand dollars. I think in the end, I was under, you know, a thousand dollars for my trips to Wisconsin because I was literally getting the airfare for there. The round trip was like usually somewhere in the neighborhood of 480 to 500 bucks. Oh, right. Wow. And then you got to, you add a hundred. And then, cause I was only going to be, I was only there for, you know, two, three days each time. So you add, you know, about 140 bucks for the rental car on top of that. And then the hotel, uh, the first time I went, when I paid for the hotel, I paid $70 for the one night that I stayed there. Uh, this last time it was, my share was, what was it? It was 250, I think. Yeah. 250. Yeah. So even still, I'm still under, you know, a yeah. thousand. So it ended up not being as bad, but but I got to keep in mind, I was only going for two days, the first two trips. Right. So yeah. I didn't end up spending a lot of money on food and lodging and, and everything while I was there. That was a minimal cost. So. No. Just I never alcohol. know how much money to bring because, <laughs> you know, you want to buy things, you know, and especially in another country. I'd be wanting to take things home, you know, so right. empty bag yeah. to bring with, you know, and how much money because I don't know the, the exchange rate or, you know, I'd be dumbfounded. I just give me to the liquor store and uh, I'll do the rest of my head. <laughs> I'll just put yeah. the memories here and forget the rest. <laughs> we had some fun. I'll make some jello shots. We'll all have fun. <laughs> yeah. So, Linda, for you, we've managed to walk about an hour's drive for you. For me? Yes. yes. Three, it's, I can make it in three and a half hours. Oh, three and a half hours. And what if you were hours drive just it? driving? Huh? I was just going to say to Eric Cozy, how, how long would it take him if he was oh, to drive it? To Wisconsin? Oh yeah. Uh, well, I'll put it this way: it would take me it would take me six hours to drive from here to Phoenix, Arizona, and yeah. that would probably be a tenth of the way. <laughs> you know, so probably yeah. three days, maybe four days to drive there. Roughly, wow. it's flying to Scotland. Flying there, you get there how long? It's, how it's long clear across the country. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, it's how clear across. You get one end. I'm also out, here. in Southern California, yeah. so not only do I have to move east, Up but I also have to move north. So it's yeah. here, <laughs> you know. So. Oh, well, well, and I'm me, here. it's just whoop, next door. Yeah. But still, you know. So I can go five states in nineteen hours. So. Whereas we're like it six hour drive. Hours yeah, it would. It would take me about. Islands. It would take me about six hours to drive to Sharon. Then do you have to take a boat? No. No, or you just drive across. No, no I don't know. I mean, I think there's water it's between the everybody's one. countries. I don't know. No. <laughs> no. I have no. no idea how it is. No, no, no it's all the one. Island. Island. There's three outlying islands, but oh, okay. we're Jane and I stay. Yeah. It's part of the same land. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they don't I mean, live. I, I, could fly. I could fly. It would be quicker. <laughs> oh. yeah. What's that? How many hours? Five. Yeah, I could. I could fly. You, could, you can't yeah, fly to Scotland. Not long, isn't it? Not no, no, that's not long at all. That's how long it would take for me to get to um, see Denise Rainey would be six hours. <laughs> so yeah, hey, I remember in Still Game, Jack and Victor, you uh, <laughs> got a little private <laughs> thing to fly up. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. There's lots of islands, lots and lots of islands. You mean I could go to Jane's and see you then, and then see um, Dark Side too in Ireland, so I could go to all you guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, you need to go to Ireland. You need to go over the water to Ireland. Yes. Oh, okay. So there is water there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But the mainland yeah. that we're on. Well, well, that's what I would do if I was yeah, going to go yeah. to the UK. I would make sure that I could go to all the yeah. you know places. Yeah. yeah. There's ferries and all that, and planes that take you. Time. Well, we got ferries here, really, Jonah. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so Captain Horatio Magellan Crunch here brings up something that Mr. Capaldi has been yeah. talking about he wants to do. The next time he comes for a rally or something, uh, he actually wants to fly to where I am uh, here in Southern California. And he wants to rent a car. 
and he wants to take Route 66 all the way to his Good luck. So wait, wait, that could wait, be interesting. Route 66. Could be fun. <laughs> You know. It turns into 70 in, in Illinois, and it's <laughs> it's a great road. Where it started from, you know, in Illinois, that's because right. it started in, you know, Chicago or whatever. So right. wait till you get to that part where you think they'd really take nice care of that road. One thing you don't right. have to worry about, there's no cops, but the roads are... Yeah. <laughs> like you ran, right ran, ran a big Final. RV, just going in a big yeah. RV. Yeah. yeah. Then right. you could pull it's, every it's morning. Nice <laughs> Right, but you try to do a that, lot of that's a good way to do it because you're obviously yeah. going to be pulling into campgrounds along the way. Yep. Yeah, you know, you're going to be planning it to end up at campgrounds each night so that you can have somewhere to hang out. Um, don't you cross a desert though for a while? I mean, like, like desolate, oh, oh, nothing. Oh, oh, when you when you leave California, oh yeah. Well, first of all, okay. LA is a desert, so <laughs> I mean, you got to remember that. So, so Southern California is literally a desert. It's, I mean, if, if it wasn't for if it wasn't for people living in LA, irrigating water in to put up all these palm trees and lawns and everything else that you wow. see in LA, it would be a desert. That's what it would oh, wow. be naturally. So just like Las Vegas, they don't like have Las no Vegas, water. They yeah. get it pumped in. They and so that's just it. You start moving east and east and east, and oh, you get wow. into Arizona, Nevada. It's like it. There's a lot of desert in the uh, southwest you know, United States, uh, you have to start getting North before you start getting like forests and, you know, that sort of stuff. Now there are some forests. We have San Angeles forest here in California, which, which is fairly, it reaches into mm -hmm. Southern California a fair bit, but, but mostly California is a desert. I mean, you, I, I've even, I've even, I've got, if you guys go back and look for the earliest videos on my channel, there's one called Moto X racer and it's a little kid on his dirt bike. I mean, that's out at my boss's property. That's just north of LA. That's well, good. Then when it's desert, when, yeah. when Paul does that, then you can have him take back some of the prosecutors and drop them along the way in the <laughs> desert. I mean, I hear you know, that's what so the you know, some of the people right? in Manitowoc <laughs> might want to take a trip to the desert, and we, hey, you know, I mean, I, you know, <laughs> make this worth it. Just make it say like a so holiday. Yeah, right. of California. You don't, need, you don't need to leave no <laughs> markers of where they got off. Just let them be, you know, give them a bottle of water and say, see you later. We'll see how you do for a while. <laughs> bottle of water. We have a hole in the bottom, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe only fill it this full and just put air in the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to do it, you know, I'm not going to say. <laughs> right, right. So, um, the next order of business, I guess, we'll be talking about the fact that I will be uh, appearing with Jane and Diane this weekend on Sunday. It'll be about 12 Pacific time, which will be 2, p 2 p.m. for you guys central uh, on Sunday. Um, and what were you guys planning? Like, what was what was the thing you guys do, were looking do, do. at? <laughs> so, um, we've got a few questions we're going to ask you. Uh oh <laughs> just, yeah, you don't get pre-answered or pre pre no. uh, questions yeah, right. like I did. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, like, 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 I, like I give Amanda Knox and like I give Ricky Kid. I know, right? No, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> just uh, put yeah, you on so the so, spot, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. do it, Jane. He never well, gives me pre questions. If if, that's it. so, if it's okay with you, we wanted you to um, have a talk about your the event that's coming up in October. Right. The wrongful convictions event, um, which is really exciting. Right, I'm, so, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. And yeah. I was, when I was talking to Ricky, which leads me into that topic as well. When I was talking to Ricky yesterday, I was I was basically letting him know why I wanted to call number one to set up a little show with him, which is going to happen on Tuesday, folks. Tuesday, so that will be at 8 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Pacific on Tuesday. Um, that I'll be having a chat with Ricky. But as I was talking to him yesterday, I was telling him, you know, like, hey, I wanted to have you on my channel. I wanted to talk about wrongful convictions and stuff. Really want to get more and more of the MAM community really taking a, a very strong interest in wrongful convictions, trying to get people to understand that that helps them argue more effectively for Stephen and Brendan. And and all those things that he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm on board with that. I'm on board with that. Okay, all right, all right. You know, and everything. He's cool, dude. Freaking love Ricky. He's a cool guy. Um, and, and that's when I brought up the, the event for 
October 2nd and stuff. And I said, yeah. well, as you know, wrongful conviction day is, is October 2nd. And I was looking to put together a 48 hour thing that, that I kind of gave him the spiel. And he comes back and he goes, well, he goes, I might have to give you a tentative yes on that one. He goes, and he started explaining how involved he is with the innocence project at this point in time. And, and he's going to have a lot of his own duties that weekend. So wow. he wasn't sure, but I'm eager. I'm honestly yeah. very eager to see, you know, what he's going to be up to that weekend. I yeah. just want to find out because right. he's a, he's a, he's a firecracker, man. I like him. He's just, he's got a lot of energy, bounding kind of energy. He's a really good guy. And yeah. and I imagine whatever he's going to be doing that weekend, it's going to be powerful. So, I mean, it's going to be probably interesting. So I'm going to be, and then he said, he didn't say no. He just said he had to give me a tentative mm -hmm. yes because he just didn't know how things were going to shake out that weekend uh, at this point in time. Maybe, so maybe could record he may some still stuff for come, you. Yeah, he may still appear yeah. with me that weekend. Yeah. If he, gets a chance. Right. Yeah. he works with the Midwest Innocence Project, the Midwest one. Is that the one you Midwest, yeah. Okay, so that's like Chicago area, Missouri, that kind of, I think it is. Right, I'm not I believe sure. so, yeah. Okay, does, does, is he able to, does he get in touch with um, people that are exonerated like all around or does he just deal with that? Do you know? I mean, just in that well, area. From what I understand, I mean, maybe he would, you know, being, I haven't asked him about it, you know. Oh yeah. Good, good definitely. question to ask him then. But, but what, what I understand is, is that he, that he is, he is part of like a committee or a board, I think, or whatever. He actually has oh. responsibilities from the Midwest innocence project. Some of it's like, he's going to be, appearing at certain events that weekend or getting, yeah. appearing to talk that weekend and, and things like that. So it's, and it's just organized by, and he, oh, he did explain this. He said that you, you start out with the innocence project, the main innocence project, the national na national basically. Right. He goes, and underneath that hat, you have all the other little ones like the Midwest innocence project and the, you know, wherever, whoever else, I mean, there's all kinds of them. You know, there's so many different little ones now. He goes, right. They all come into that hat. He goes, and so they're all going to be doing little things. They're all going to be having little things going. They're all going to, you know, whatever. So he's he's just going to be having some duties according to, and and like I said, Tuesday night, bring your question to live chat, and we'll we'll see if we can we can um, if we can if we can put it before him. So um, right, I, I why are I, your I, lights dim? I was going to say, is his if your monitor going off? You're, you're, you're dark is, looking. You're dark looking. Why that is actually. You know, there's been power. Your time was what getting I, better. Say, <laughs> it must be his way of uh, like repaying back too. You know what I mean? I mean, he yeah. gets to come out yeah. and say thank you by going out and helping spread the word. You know what I mean? And be a speaker. And it's probably right. his way of paying back, yeah. which right. is really good. Well, I mean, he doesn't I mean, seem bitter for really 23 years. He doesn't paying back though, does he? I mean, really, he's right. out. He's old. Yeah, well, no, but I mean, <laughs> but, but I mean, but he has, he has, you're right. You know? Yeah, he does. He's, he's yeah. It, it, that's what I like about him, folks, is his his movement is called I Am Resilience, folks. I mean, oh, really? you think cool. about think about the definition of the word resilience. Mm -hmm. I mean, he I think he chose that word very, very specifically because mm -hmm. resilience means that you can take a beating and, yeah. and you can continue. You can, can still continue to yeah. to be who you are, what you are, and 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 that sort of thing. And that's so I love the fact that number one, he chose the word resilience, but but he's 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 about it, man. He's not he's not just talking the talk. The dude's right. walking the walk, mm -hmm. and he's just you know. So that's what I find impressive about him. He's he's engaging. I think I think he's going to be a powerful voice for for wrongfully convicted individuals. You know. Uh, over the next couple of years, because he's only been out for eight months. Yeah. You know, he's, he's only been out for years, years, and he's got such a good attitude. I mean, yeah. wow. You know, don't I mean, I, I'm sorry, I don't think I'd be like that. I think no. I would be like, you know what? I mean, I just no. don't think I would be like that, but I don't know. Yeah. I'm just kind of guessing who I am. That's just <laughs> what I was going to say, but don't you find with all these exonerates, or quite a few of the ones, so nice. thing, they're all so positive. And yeah. I think, I mean, I can't say how I would feel, but yeah, I would have so much resentment, bitterness, and and they are all yeah. just so positive, and and that's why they inspire me so much because just the, when you hear them talk and they they tell you all about you know what they've been through, and it, it just astounds <laughs> me. Yeah, they are. Obviously, yeah. they've had to have hope, you know. 
because you can imagine for after 23 years i mean we've seen this with brendan and Stephen, the knockback to get through going through yeah. the appeal system because it's not back after not yeah. back after not back right until you know yeah in the end uh you know so do, do they have hope you know they have to have something something well they have inner, to yeah. inner, inner strength in, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's the same with Brendan. They're not going to lay down and yeah. take what they get were given yeah. because it's not them, you know. Well Look said, at you, one. Even though you never say anything, well said. Yeah, he says a lot of things. <laughs> well, you know, he texts a lot of things. You're coming on my show too, T1. Now, if I can get one's people first, you're going to be next. I'll tell you what. Well, you can keep the ball gig on. You don't even have to say nothing. I'll give you a typewriter, but just show your face. <laughs> 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 Just for the, being the first, you know, because Linda's known to be the first. So, you know, <laughs> happy Mother's Day to you too, Adrian. See, we celebrate it on Day a different day. Adrian day. and all the mothers out there. Yeah. You guys yeah. just had your Mother's Day, didn't you? In England? Was in no, that was, that was okay. That was somebody else. That was another yeah. country. We have, we have Jane yeah. here. You know, right here, mums of tip top, TikTok here. So, <laughs> yeah, mums, hashtag mums of TikTok. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't come up with that. That's already. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I love it. They're already, but you fill the boots. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah. I always make sure I put that hashtag in because yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah Greece yeah, two, the Greece two just, one was really what, good. Oh, do you know what? That was one of my favorites. That one. It was really, you could see, you could see it. Yeah. You can see it. Because I love the film and I love that song out the film and then yep. when it, as soon as I saw it and because you'll go through and you'll see some and you'll think, Oh, I really want to do that one. <laughs> um, right. Yeah. I, I saw it. You had one today. I had to do the Beatles and you were yes. like, <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love, um, yeah. Yeah, I love the Beatles. Yeah. My well, nephew's it, always trying that to was get one me of the to do them. First things as well that I noticed when I started watching Eric Hosey, he had his Abbey Road in the background yeah. there. Yep. <laughs> I, 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 bought, that I know I'm going to like it, man. So. <laughs> I figured I had I my, that. Doors, my official Hollywood Bowl Doors poster. So yeah. I was I was over at the swap meet in a little thing where they sold a bunch of different musician pictures. And I was like, yeah, the iconic Abbey Road, that's the one I want. Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> yes, Martha. I had the Abbey Road Positively on the Brendan. The what? I had the Abbey Road on the on my on the backdrop of that video with the TikTok. Oh, video. there you go. Right. Oh, yeah, I did see that. It was behind yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're already playing with your green screen. There you go. You never had any of that stuff. You never had a studio when I started watching you. It was your partition behind you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 and that's what it's like. Like I said, that was what Stacy was talking about with Jerome when I was uh, when I was watching that segment. It was just I was so touched <laughs> watching them to talk about it. I was like, wow, um, because I went and I even watched it a second time because I went through to pull it for Jerome so that he could upload it. You know, his segment with Stacy all by itself, and uh, um, so. So that I was going back through it to get that, and and oh, dude, this fly is stupid. <laughs> Go oh, on, get your face to Anyways, <laughs> the fly ones, yeah. So, but yeah. So, anyways, but moving on. <laughs> so, I have oh, no. somebody just distracted me there with something, so I gotta deal with that after this, but. So one thing that's coming up here, obviously, is is I was talking about the fact that I was pulling the the, the segment for Jerome to upload. I pulled another segment from Linda's um, Mammothon for her to upload, and, and and I really think it's an interesting one. I really like it because what J Jacks kind of dug up there was very interesting, and it's it's all regarding you know whether or not cameras were allowed in the jail or not. 
And 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 it all comes back to a video Kratz made that has been deleted. But yeah. fortunately, there was a savvy supporter out there who had downloaded them all first and uh, put them right back up. And so you can still find them. Um, but there's that video that Kratz made and it, where he's calling that, saying that Jerry Buting is yeah. da 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 because he's, you know, helping the filmmakers essentially get some footage of Steven, you know, yeah. or whatever it is, right? Well, then he's going through in that segment showing how pretty much any, any reporter and their uncle was just mm-hmm. walking right up to the jail with a freaking uh, uh, little piece of paper asking if, you know, for them to give to Steve asking for an interview. And then it was like they were allowed in with cameramen and everything. There was like, you know, so acting as if there was some taboo uh, mm-hmm. about cameras, I think is just like ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and and so I thought that in, I thought it was a very interesting segment. So she'll be uploading that for tomorrow morning, folks. She's gonna schedule that for tomorrow morning. Uh, My so, first premiere. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> I've never did it before. So yeah, I'm, well, yeah. Sharon's gonna show her how to do that, and and uh, yes, you need my help. I'm the IT department on that Yeah. IT record. Right. Yep. <laughs> well, I helped Jerome as well. I had to send him videos of how to do stuff, and, and then I was yeah. in it for Jay, and I was like, "Are you do this?" I was like videoing my screen with my phone, and going, like, "You press this." And you... <laughs> oh, right. <dear. laughs> but it worked. It worked. Yeah. It worked. I think I know how to do it now, but I just don't know yeah. how to put a yeah like a like a video in front of it or something. You know, I'll learn that. Well, yeah, you I'll... don't have a way of editing, unfortunately. But well, I do. I I got I just got some editing software. So okay, so then now you yeah. will be able to. So in that software, you'll be able to drag in like say the file I sent you, and then yeah. in that software, you'll have a thing where you'll be able to choose to record from your camera, oh, so that you can okay. sit there and do like an introduction for it. Um, cool, because I know if you I have editing software that's worth a sh- damn. Uh, well, sh- to, <laughs> so I got Flamora, so yeah, I guess so that's pretty good. If it allows like, you to record yourself on camera, then you'll be able right. to insert those bits before and after, or even break it in the middle or whatever. So that's what the editing software allows you to do. And then when you go to upload to YouTube, you're just gonna when you get to the last step, you know, the last step is saying, you know, do you want it instant? You know, do you want to just uh, instant? Well, you know, since you're the leader, you should make some videos and of how to do this, so that so that your <laughs> followers and your tree branches that are branching off of the oak tree here can learn how to do the stuff you do. He's done loads. He's done loads of videos helping everybody how to do get on a Discord and hangouts and everything. Yeah, I mean, oh, I he always do. does it. He always does it. <laughs> Yes, I'm just wants, saying. You know, I mean, yeah, he wants everybody else to get out of walk. You know what I'm saying? You, gotta, you can give them shoes, but you still got to tell them how to use it. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, so oh, the last man. topic that we're going to be talking about today is obviously, folks, Linda is going to be going live in a little while after this. Um, uh, pretty much about an hour from now. Um, uh, you know, so. Uh, I want to encourage everybody to head over there for that. Um, it's having to do with, with uh, well, we'll let her talk about it. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, really excited about it. Yeah, yeah it's, um, oh, I was making sure I wasn't muted. Because <laughs> I, <started talking laughs> I do that all the time. But yeah, I'm really excited. I got Becca Nash, who is, everybody knows she's a great big supporter of Brendan. She does the Be uh, Brendan Brave every Monday. She gets all this stuff together and I've heard from other people that what she does is not easy because they've tried to do it for her while she was on vacay. So she does a lot for Brendan. She really, really supports Brendan a lot. She would do just about anything for him. And I mean, most of us feel that way. So I thought it'd be a really good idea that since there's really no action in Brendan's case and all we can do is keep pushing that governor, well, let's start doing it on YouTube. Let's start giving everybody the tools to do so. So every week we'll be announcing how you can do that. And they'll always be in the description, how you can write to him, how you can write to the um, governor, how you can get with Tracy Keogh. Um, And then we're going to, she'll tell you the next campaign for the following Monday. And then maybe because she emails them, there might be some messages. I'm not going to give nothing away. So there's some things that are happening. And I think everybody just needs to talk about Brendan a lot too. I mean, yeah. nobody really talks about Brendan, and Brendan, face it, Brendan really is a lot of our reasons for being here. 
Yeah. You know, it is for me. I know it is for Eric Cozy. I know it is yeah. for Jane. I know it is, you know, everybody I look at, you know, they, they're interested in Steven's case because it's an ongoing thing. You know, they can do something with it, which is great. I think it's wonderful. But Brendan is in a stagnant place right now. And we all know it's not, you know, yeah. all I have is hope. Hope, yeah. and prayers, and just keep right. talking. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm looking forward to it. So it's going to be every Friday at 6 o'clock Central. And because she's four o'clock Arizona, whatever time that is. <laughs> I think it's Eric Cozy time. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so every Friday we're going to do that. And I'm really looking forward to it. Tonight is our first night. So got some surprises. Come on over. Oh, I'm really looking forward to it. And I was just saying to you guys before about, I don't know if anybody saw on Facebook about what he sent Bob for Mother's Day. He's just such a sweetheart. It was, he's, and she posted it all on Facebook. And a, a lovely bunch of flowers and chocolates, and it made it written like a crossword about all the things he loves about his mom, and you know, just thank it. Oh, it's it's got it's beautiful. He's he's, he's so our happy. inspiration. He's, he is. I mean, he keeps me I just, going. I just want to hug him. Yeah. I do. Yeah. That's well. That's how I felt when I met his yeah. mom. I was like, oh. yeah. I was overwhelmed. I, I was really very, very overwhelmed, very overwhelmed by that. You know, and it's something that lasts forever f with me because I felt like I was hugging Brendan too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And yeah. of course, I'm not going to talk the case with his mother because she lives it, and I would never yeah. do that. I think that'd be rude. But you know, oh, what's this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I like that picture. That's from Susan Sexton, right? So this is my tweet, folks. And if you guys want to head over there after this, if you haven't already gone over to like it, um, it has gotten a hell of a response already. I've already read it. Um, but this was what I sent to Governor Evers. I included this picture with it. Um, you see here. So this, <laughs> this was created by Susan Sexton. Acme Brack Yeah, Acme Brack Brace. Right, exactly. Got it. Fast bender here, right? Pushing up yeah. on the, you know, the ass end of it. Here, pu pushing up on the belly of the, yeah. trying to keep it so yeah. of sweat over here underneath Kratz, sweaty, shady yeah, over sweaty here, day. shady, shady. Oh my Fast gosh, bender. I love that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's this. She put a lot of meaning into this little picture. It's really, really good. There's uh, this case of Brendan Dancy. Oh well. Yeah, I gave her the I gave her the rough idea for it, and she ran with it, and she killed it. Oh man. lord, it. great job, Susan. So, that's what I sent over to Governor Evers. Uh, so, if anybody out there that hasn't gone over and liked and retweeted this sucker, if you want to go over and go over and do that, please. Um, oh, I have. You know, <laughs> I'm just looking. Is it? And if you add something onto it, it gets more tweets too because yeah, so if you click on yours and then it'll yeah. click, yes, so retweet make a chain with of comment, it. retweet yeah. with yep. comment. If you make yep. a comment, tweet with comment hashtag. because it gets more and more and more and more. And and yeah. one of my new favorite hashtags. Hashtag we're we not going, going away. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> we're not going away. Yep. And my favorite hashtag is <laughs> positively <laughs> Brendan. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. So that's what we want to know. We just want these. We want these guys to know that we're, they're not going to. I want them to see that that the numbers keep rising. That they're yes. having to deal with more people talking about it than less. And and I want them yeah. to keep seeing that happen. And 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 so that's that's what we do out here in the public while the liar the lawyers are in there putting the, the pressure on in the in the ways that they do in the ways that they're able to, uh, legally and all that. So I mean that's you know everybody does their part. Um, and, and like I say, you know, there's those of us who are getting out here and getting vocal on YouTube and that's good because it gives all of you guys a place to go to talk and continue to convene together to, to talk about your interest in these cases and to continue to, to draw attention and awareness to Stephen and Brennan, but hopefully moving forward, folks, um, I'm gonna be able to show you with, with guests like Amanda Knox and Ricky Kidd. And and others hope that I'm hoping to get. I'm really hoping to get Valentino Dixon. I'm, um, we follow each other on Twitter, but I've, I'm I'm having trouble initiating a conversation with them at the moment. So, but I am very much looking to get Valentino on at some point. Would love to get Devonte Sanford at some point, but I know he's kind of dealing with something right now because Kim Worthy is trying to, she's trying to come up with some BS to try to claim she got that thing right in the first place, which is mm. a joke. 
Um, so he may not be able to talk right now if he's if he's got pending court case uh, mm-hmm. that may be happening. So I may have to wait for Devontae, but I really would eventually at some point. So we need to take an interest beyond Stephen Brennan, not asking you to dive in like you did with Stephen Brennan and become as well versed as you did with Stephen Brennan, but to 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 take a little you know tiptoe through the waters of these other wrongful convictions and get some awareness of the same things that happen over and over again yeah, yeah. that cause these things to happen. It informs your argument. So when you are arguing passionately for Avery Dassey, you will have information in your cadre that you will be able to use to effectively reinforce yourself. So when somebody tries to say something like, oh, you don't really believe a cop would have gone in there and grabbed that thing from that drawer and taken it over and put it then you can say, well, you know, it's funny because a cop did almost exactly that in New Jersey and whatever yeah. in the Carney case. You know what I mean? And that that then that person was trying to make you look ridiculous. And you have now turned the tables on them because yeah. you had knowledge of where something like that has happened and it's been proven. You see, right. that's why it's important. And that's why it makes you more effective in arguing for Avery Dassey. So that's why I hope everybody takes it serious. It's as especially me, as I'm going to be, I intend to be interviewing a lot of wrongfully convicted people in the coming months. So um, hopefully everybody will be there with me to learn what these yeah. real people are going to be there to teach us. Yeah. A lot of yeah. people don't know what they can do, but all you have to do is open up your um, Google and type in your state and put wrongful convictions or innocent project. And there you go. That's a start. That's how you can do it. Because I didn't know how to do it, and I did that, and I was like, "Oh well, I don't have none right now in Minnesota." But still, I know you know Principal, what the Innocence yeah, Project yeah. is here, and you can be in touch with them and get on their website, and you know you can help out locally, yeah. and you know, or you can reach out and on Twitter and all that, and get on the board with other people's who they're saying to, you know. Because Jane and I were going to look and see about the UK what's going on with yes. that as well, weren't we? We were well, going to have a look yeah. into that. Well, what I was just going to say is, um, following on from um, what Eric Hosey was saying about bringing other wrongful convictions in, me and um, Di, that's absolutely what we, obviously, our focus is still on Stephen and Brendan, yeah. but the more um, awareness we can raise with other wrongful convictions as well is really important yeah. to us, and we do, we, um, we are wanting to look and and it'd be good for you to do this with us as well Sharon with you being in the UK as well because yeah. I just think we don't you really are, hear we always talk shocked? about we don't yeah we don't really hear about as many yeah. wrongful conviction cases no. and again what Eric Cozy was just saying about the key and cops planting a key before mm-hmm. any of this I would have been like surely not that well, one. but I, now yeah. t- to me it's more like well, yeah, they would. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. And well, then you exactly. also don't get FOIAs, so you were shocked about that. And yeah, so I think well, that'll these be are the a types of things thing for you. Yeah, and these are the types of things that me, um, myself, and I are going to be looking at and talking about yeah. um, in the UK as well, because you know it's just really important yeah. to us. Like Luke Mitchell, somebody just said, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Well, Luke Mitchell's like Brendan, right? I mean, mm-hmm. he's was a young kid yeah. that, yeah, yep. and he's 15. yeah, fourteen. Yeah, when the girlfriend I can't really Mark remember, Mark. but I was in, um, you know, looking into mm-hmm. it a lot. I had some stuff on my channel about him, and yeah, it was kind of interesting. Yeah. So yeah, you know, so they they're everywhere. But I know Jane was really really shocked when she found out that she can't get information like she yeah. can here in the I USA. Mean, and yes, I know that that really put a fire under her. She's like, okay, well, we're going to, you know, so I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing what you get done there. I yeah. think a select few people can if you've got the right job title and the right reasons for it. I think it's, um, but it's not the same as like, you know, just a no. normal person. Can and get. doesn't that make you just think, well, that's, what the you know, worse because what, what, what are they trying to hide? What don't yeah. they want you to know? You know, it's even more intriguing because. Mm-hmm. At least in the USA, we can for you, we can yeah. for you the documents. We can find out. We can, you know, look into. Well, not me personally, no. but you know, the, <laughs> the, the, the researchers that else, do yeah. do that. I'm like, saying it like I do it all the time, which are, yeah. but the researchers yeah, that do. I mean, how would we have found? How would everyone have found? Yeah, 
anything but else that, yeah. that we've been, you know, they've found out since. So, See, that's one of the things that's the most tragic, I think, is the fact about, obviously, Stephen Brayton's tragic as well, but what I mean is, with Luke's case, it's like nobody is seeing that stuff, so nobody's getting no. enraged about it, no one's getting... No. You know, and it's sad that she's been doing it herself for free for all these years. She's worked, she's yeah. just worked for free. She's not taking a penny. What for an it. amazing lady. Yeah, really, really. Because he's running out of all his, he's all his um, legal aid, all his, so, you know, and all, people, all the money's run out. Like, you know, when I heard that. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, Jane. No, it's okay. I'm just saying. Uh, someone was just when I was I just thought here we are. We can get all this information mm -hmm. and we can find yeah. it out. And there's still yeah. so many of them. So I was like, you guys can't find that out. I wonder how many there really are. Mm. You know what I mean? I mean, that's just where my head went. It was like, yeah. Well, maybe their system isn't so good because their people don't know if they, you know, well, the judge another, made a bad decision. Another thing that I was told as well is um, by a few people, I wouldn't, I wouldn't disclose who they are. Um, but quite often there's sort of conditions where you're not allowed to disclose things if you are released, if you've been wrongfully convicted in the UK, as part of your sort of right. like a disclosure, you know, it's, your yeah. non-disclosure type thing. Well, yeah. So, I mean, they're keeping it. Well, you're yeah, not allowed to talk about it. it. We're, We're all in the open and look at it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, so, I mean, that's crazy. concerning. That's really so like, yeah, like, like the Ricky Kid and the Jason Strongs and the Amanda Knoxes who can all and the Ryan yeah. Ferguson can all come out and talk about it. Yeah. yeah. They're not they're not allowed to in the UK and they've got that's outrageous. Not for all of them. Not for no. all of them, but there's some Just, that you know, yeah. Yeah. Well that'll I, that'll be the all all the ones where there was wrongdoing. Right. Yeah. You where, know, they're pressing, their, yeah, yeah. where they're trying to hide their dirt. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I never even heard about, I mean, I've heard of Amanda Knox, but I have to be really honest, I never even knew the case, and I just watched it. Have like, you watched it? Yeah, like three yeah. three days ago or something, I watched it, and yeah. wow, <laughs> that's all I can say is, wow, yeah. did that yeah. detective that have it one, out for her, is... boy? I mean, just to assume yeah. because she was, you know, she's an American, she doesn't... There's different, that's where it shows you the different cultures. Yeah, well, that was that Italy, wasn't it? issues for you. you got to watch what you do in public because, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I was like, ooh. Yeah, oh, yeah, good. the press ridiculed Very her. shocking. Yeah. Very shocking. It was. And then, yeah. of course, Mr. Uh, Stephen Moore, he had a lot to do with that case. And yeah. that is a man that is so, he is such a reputable man. I mean, just. Oh. So much integrity. If we could, if he could change or train all the LE in the United States, all law enforcement and things, and they had to go by his rules, we wouldn't have to worry yeah. about it. No, we exactly. really yeah. wouldn't. He has so much integrity. <laughs> it's like we should. It's like one of those things. What would Steve Moore do? You know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like often I'll say like, what would Judge Judy do? You know how like it's like yeah. you know she's like yeah, would put up with any nonsense. You know, like, I say that I yeah, do. I, yeah. I watch him all. The, I see him on so many yeah. shows, and he's really young, but he's funny. But boys, he's mm -hmm. he's so smart. Yeah, and he he stands for the right things. With I mean, yeah. my favorite interviews ever have been Eric Cozy and Steve Moore, yeah. both of them. I just absolutely learned so much from him yeah. in just a short yeah. time. Should he? Yeah, a lot of it is in the book. Because um, obviously she's not allowed to show anyone documents and stuff like that, but um, she's able to document it in the book in a way that was legal for legal. her to do so. Yeah. yeah. Without her getting sued. But I mean, I've, there's a video on Dr. Sandra Lean's um, YouTube channel, and it's like a wall. It's like maybe about five foot high and maybe about, I don't know, eight foot wide. Big space full of documents, floor to ceiling, basically, near enough. Oh, wow. Um, she's got all it, her, you know, wherever she's keeping it. Is there, a chance quiet, for, you know? <laughs> is there a chance for Luke to get out, or is he like basically? Like went through all of. There's his, things in like the pipeline. Brendan's there's things in the pipeline that she wasn't really allowed to discuss, and that was fine. Okay. I said that okay. to her. That's fine, and obviously it, fingers yeah. crossed for anything that's yep. um, going on. Um, yeah, we don't want to say anything. Won't, if yeah, not, you know, because I would hate yeah. to see something go wrong for somebody that just. But it's basically work. like you yeah. know, basically like it'd be a shot in the dark if, you know. Oh. Yeah, kind of like Brendan right now oh, at this God. point. 
The thing is, it's the same as Stephen with the A5 case. Luke won't admit to it. He's got 20 years in jail and yeah. he will not admit to it. So he will not get out no. even after the 20 years because he will just not admit to it. You mean they they'll keep parole. him after 20 years? They can well, he won't that? admit to it. They can only let him out if he does yeah. certain courses to be eligible for parole. And if he's not oh. doing the courses and not admitting okay. it, you know? I don't think they should have that admittance thing on there because it makes people that no. never did anything say they did yep. something. It's kind of like the exactly. um, the, the Albert plea. Law or yeah, the Albert plea yeah. or even plea deals. They're really bad thing. They, I mean, everybody yeah. says, okay, well, that's good too. No, they're not because you make a plea no. deal and then go try to appeal it once. See what happens. You're stuck. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you're stuck. There's two sides you know? to every coin. So, yeah. you know what I mean? But, but I just, I agree with you. First of all, I yeah, I agree with you that they they're the justice. I think with plea deals is imperfect, mm. but the reason they exist is because they actually allow our justice system to move under yeah, that, yeah. Way. yeah. So I mean, there's that side of it. It's sticky. I well, I'd rather but, see that than but Edpa. I think Edpa. it's important, right? No, but I think yeah. it's important to point that out. <laughs> well, because Edpa has the same kind of problem. Right where it's it's trying to keep the court system from getting clogged, but it's gone too far, it's gone yeah. way overboard, and 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 it shouldn't be robbing every single American, and it no. certainly shouldn't be robbing kids like Brendan and other kids like him. Right. That's just perfect. still baffles me now. I think they need to come up with a whole justice system just for juveniles. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I mean, right. honestly, just for people that are under 21 and under. I really do. No. I know that 18, but. You're not you're not mature at 18. You're not even mature at 21, but you're still able to do everything legally in the United States. So, you know, um, I think they should have a completely separate justice system for them and a different way of looking at it because they're dealing with children and they're who are, you know, well, either just want to help like Brendan yeah. or are just not sure what they're doing. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. it's, it's a very yeah. they need to be guided. And in the adult system, you you can't get that guidance. You know, it's you. Your innocence and them proving you're in, mm -hmm. you're guilty, but no, yeah. it's you guilty and the, and you trying to prove your innocence. Yep. So right. it's, you know what I mean. It's just terrible. Right. Whereas in the UK, it's like sixteen. You're allowed to have relationships and you're allowed to be married and yeah, you know. But you yes, can't go until you're eighteen and you can mm. drink That's and stuff like that. Young. But some places it's twenty one for going in to get drink. You know, alcohol and stuff like that. Some places. And strangle my so daughter. So it's all comes different. So. <laughs> So in terms of Luke was 15, so he was still underage, you know, he was still under that, even although it's close to that 16 sort of benchmark, 14 at the time of the, you know, the crime, right. um, you know, and that he didn't commit, but 14 at the time um, right. that Jody was murdered and 15 at the time the court case, you know, so he was still a young, young boy. Right. So folks, this is another tweet I made today. Well, this is, well, actually... The tweet I made mm -hmm. is here, but anyway. much, much. so, so it's what, this is about, what this is about is Larry Elder here, folks, is talking about recently the Supreme Court was convening for a conference call thing, whatever. Judge mm -hmm. Sotomayor, I guess, forgot to hit mute on her mic on her computer, and she had a wireless microphone, I guess, and and forgot to hit mute or whatever, and went to the bathroom and ended up having the flushing of her toilet come come through on the call. So oh, I mean, so this is what's getting talked about and all that, right? It's just, you know, whatever. Jeez. So, so I came in. I couldn't help it. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I figured this is a good chance because obviously Larry Elder has a lot of followers. And so I figured, yep. okay, here we go. So I came in and said uh, the toilet flush was a reaction to SCOTUS and their interpretation of AEDPA. Their failure to grant cert for Brendan Dassey. Six amicus briefs at the cert stage. That's how much people are outraged by Brendan. Oh, a toilet flushed in the ivory towers. Well, I never. <laughs> Ridiculous. Now, Jane, you go on and add on to that. <laughs> so it gets around because that's good. That's good, Eric Cozy. That is good. Yeah. What a Eric, good way to. Eric yeah. Cozy. We'll read we'll re that with a box. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Sorry. I was going to say, someone just said something. Can I just answer back to it? Go ahead. Uh, Glenn, he was told not to show any emotion because it was going to go against him in his um, court case or afterwards. He was told not to show any emotion at mm. all. 
um, because he said Luke's lack of emotion hasn't helped his cause, but he was warned not to um, show any emotion either way, because they would use like crocodile tears or, yeah, you know, don't you, care. Yeah. So he was warned not to. Right. I don't know if that, you know. Right. Still seen that there. I thought, oh, what, by his <laughs> was this by his defence team? Yeah. 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 Told not to. Wow. And then they use that against him and say he didn't have any Yeah, emotion. of course. Because they said yeah. they would just say, say it was crocodile tears. You know, so. Right. You can't win. Right. No. Yeah, I know. It's not fair. I mean, both sides, when both sides are lying, it's ridiculous for the it's ridiculous for the courts to take such a favorable attitude yeah. towards yeah. either side, honestly, towards either side. Um, but it's pretty clear that the prosecution in most courts gets gets some juice, gets some leeway, yeah. gets, gets away with more. Um, and that needs to stop because both sides are telling lies. Yeah. You, can't, you can't have both sides telling lies and, and, and try to, and, and try to claim that one's held to some higher mm -hmm. standard. Yeah. You know, it's a bunch of BS. So, all right. Well, we're at the hour mark. Linda's got a, a live of her own that's going to be starting here in about uh, 38 minutes. Uh, so she probably needs to go and start getting ready for. Her. So I want to thank you ladies for being here today. It was a lot of fun. Thanks thank for having me. Thank you for having yeah. me. <laughs> thank you. And, uh, make sure everybody go over and check out uh, Linda's live tonight. It should be interesting. Yes, you guys know I'm always there. Positive about Brendan. Positively yep. Brendan. I I'm love that. There, Brendan. So, you know, yep. I'm, I, I basically have, have decided that, well, at least I figured out at this point that I was all in for Brendan from the beginning, from the beginning, but it just took, yeah. it just took a while for my conscious mind to catch up with my subconscious mind. So anyways, <laughs> so, <laughs> But, uh, and I, I only say that because it took me a while to get on YouTube and get vocal about the cases and stuff. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, but so. look at you. <laughs> <laughs> look at what you created. <laughs> I, I, well, and I'm glad to see it. it. It fills me up. And it's like I said, when I saw when I saw Stacy commenting on it and everything during Jerome's segment, it was, I was touched. Uh, it was just like, you know, so it was, it's something special, but it's, it's, it's like I say, do it for Stephen and Brendan because. The more it grows, the better it is for them, folks. I mean, I wouldn't I, be doing it if it I'm, wasn't I'm for just you. A, yeah, I'm just the sideshow uh, on the on the route to the destination. So, sideshow uh, Bob. <laughs> yeah, I'm that little shack, you know, that you're driving down the desert going to see Manitowoc. I'm the little shack. Come and see. <laughs> That's me too. I, I actually was looking at something I wrote. It was a, a memory on Facebook the other day, and I I saw that came up, and it said I didn't share it, but it said something like. I had written about two years ago. Um, it makes sense why people are afraid to go to Manitowoc or, or, or that area of Wisconsin. Because a lot of people in the world are, have, a, have a severe fear of clowns. It was something along those lines. <laughs> <laughs> there are people that freak out. Oh, oh. oh yeah. What's that puppy? Yeah, she was barking. She's going to bark. I don't want her to bark. So I got to oh, hold her. All right. <laughs> Well, okay, right, guys, guys, get ready to head over to Linda's Live coming up here in about 35 minutes or so. I uh, hope to see you guys there. Thank you, ladies, for being here. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, thanks for having me. Jane Thank and you. Diane, I will see you on Sunday. Sunday and, night, uh, yeah. Everybody check out Sharon tomorrow, by the way. Sharon yep. will be having an interesting discussion over on her channel yep. tomorrow with somebody uh, who is going to be a little bit about the Ted Bundy case, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, Ooh. oh and know. the member of the big book, the big encyclopedia yeah, yep, book. Yeah, yep. he's one of the contributors to that. Yeah, so. yep, folks. Oh, yeah, he's a researcher. I'm looking forward yeah. to that. Yeah, folks. So, <laughs> yep. Me too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. And we'll see you. Okay.